Welcome to the weekend edition of Talk Commerce. I'm your host, Brent Peterson. Wow, do we have some excitement in store for you today. Talk Commerce episodes typically drop every Tuesday, but today we have a can't miss weekend special brought to you by our sponsor, PitchDB. PitchDB is an all-in-one platform packed with tools to help you book more podcast interviews, land speaking gigs, and get more media coverage for your business. I've used PitchDB myself, and it's been life-changing. So carve out some time this weekend, e-commerce fans, and join us for this exclusive e-commerce episode of Talk Commerce. Brought to you by PitchDB. Let's make the most of this weekend together. Welcome to Talk Commerce, the podcast where we unpack the world of e-commerce and online marketing. I'm Brent Peterson, and each week we bring you the latest insights and strategies to help your business thrive online. Talk Commerce is produced and supported by contentbasis.io. This podcast is my creative outlet and has been going now for three years. We are approaching 1,000 downloads every week and growing. If you are new to this podcast, give it a listen or check out the fantastic content on our website. From exploring effective marketing tactics to dissecting the trends shaping the digital marketplace, we've got you covered. And we're here to guide you through the ever-evolving landscape of e-commerce. But we're not just here to talk, we're here to engage got thoughts, questions, or you want to hear a really funny joke? I'd love to hear from you. Email me at brent at talkcommerce.com and let's keep the conversation going. Ready to boost your online presence? Tune in and stay ahead of the curve with Talk Commerce. Don't forget to subscribe for the full experience and share your feedback. You're listening to Talk Commerce. Subscribe and download at talk-commerce.com. Welcome to this episode of Talk Commerce. Today I have Brittany Brewer. Brittany, go ahead, do an introduction for yourself. Tell us your day-to-day role and maybe one of your passions in life. Yeah, for sure. Uh, My name is Brittany. I'm the senior account executive here at FreeUp Marketplace. Um, essentially, my role entails getting our clients onboarded into um, into the platform, um, helping them with their day to day job requests, and just making sure that um, they have a great experience with us. Um, as far as my passion goes, um, I have been in this industry for some time. I myself am a digital nomad. I work and I travel, and um, that's a huge passion for me. So um, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> That's awesome. And, and uh, yeah. being a freelancer allows you to do that. And I think there's so many stories about people that have uh, traveled all over the world uh, and worked where they're at. And, and now even uh, the nomad visas are such a thing um, yeah. that it makes it super interesting. All right. But yeah, before definitely. we before we talk about that, I'm going to I'm you volunteered to be part of the free joke project. <laughs> or can I say you've voluntold anyways? You vol- you, we're going to do the free joke project. All you have to do is say, should this joke be free? Or do you think at some point somebody could charge for it? And I'm going to guarantee <laughs> it's not going to be a very good joke. But that's the point, isn't it? All right, here we go. My wife asked me today if I had seen the dog bowl. I said, I didn't know the dog could bowl. <laughs> um. Because I am a huge animal lover, I'm going to go ahead and say that should be a paid joke. All right. Well, I think you're number, <laughs> you're probably number four out of 220 for paid, but I appreciate oh, really? that. Thank okay. you. Hey there, it's Brent from Talk Commerce. As an entrepreneur and podcaster, I'm always looking for ways to share my message and connect with new audiences. That's why I was thrilled when I discovered PitchDB, the ultimate tool for getting booked on podcasts speaking gigs, and media outlets. When I first tried PitchD, I was blown away by the results. I had a 100% response rate from the opportunities I pitched, and I couldn't believe how easy it was to connect with relevant hosts and planners. With over 3 million podcast opportunities, 148,000 event planners, and 31,000 plus media outlets, and 11,000 conferences at my fingertips, 
I felt like I had struck gold. What I love about PitchDB is how it streamlines the entire booking process. Everything is organized in one place and I can easily search for meaningful opportunities, directly connect with decision makers, and reach engaged audiences. The integrated portal, ready to use templates, and seamless functionality make pitching a breeze. If you're an entrepreneur, speaking coach, or author looking to expand your reach and make a bigger impact, I highly recommend giving PitchDB a try. Head over to PitchDB.com and see for yourself how this incredible tool can transform your booking game. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's let's talk a little bit about the about gig work and and um, yeah. and hiring freelancers and how that looks. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what you do and why that's why it's that why that's important in the economy and how people can get involved. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think I mean when COVID happened, um, so many people were up in arms with what they were going to do with work. Um, people who had barely ever used a computer, uh, were all of a sudden working in front of a computer, working from home. Um, and a lot of people kind of got into that rhythm of, okay, like maybe I can hire people remotely. Maybe I can, um, you know, start to do things on my own and, and scale up and, um, maybe start my own business. And, um, we saw like a huge shift in that definitely, um, around, you know, 2020, 2019. Um, and basically what we see now is, um, day-to-day -day operations, people coming in, um, they have maybe certain projects that they're feeling overwhelmed with that, uh, they just need a little extra help. So whether it's somebody who, um, has started an e-com business and they need help with product sourcing, or, um, they've got everything down, but they don't really understand marketing and they need somebody to come in and maybe take that over for them. Um, what we do is we can help put them in touch with freelance talent who can take over those tasks for them. Um, so that's sort of what we see on like a day-to-day -day basis is people coming in, they need help with outsourcing, with scaling up their business, and we'll put them in touch with freelance talent who can do that for them. And I think, uh, uh, the freelance talent market allows you to grow as a business with a little less risk. And I, and I, I, oh, I can yeah. point to just a conversation I had about hiring somebody in California, how much overhead there is. And, and, mm -hmm. and in sub states, it's very difficult to. Yeah, um, I, I think that, them. um, like I said, people are definitely more comfortable with the idea of hiring freelancers now. Um, you know, 15 years ago, the idea of, you know, being based in Columbus, Ohio, but, employing someone who was based in the Manila Philippines might have seemed like a crazy idea. Um, but people understand now or starting to understand that, you know, you bring on a W-2 employee for your growing business. That is a huge financial responsibility. Um, you know, you're, you're paying somebody to work nine to five, 40 hours a week. Um, and there's probably a lot of downtime where things really aren't getting done. You're, you're paying for more than what you need. And, um, you know, that, kind of gets scaled back when you are working with a freelancer. Um, there's no, um, there's no minimum or maximum. So, you know, if you need somebody to just come in and kind of guide you with some marketing, you can do that for 10 hours a week, five hours a week and grow your business without having to bring somebody on full time and spending all of that overhead in the beginning. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about, um, about uh, higher about higher up and and how it differs or free up I'm sorry <laughs> higher up sounds <laughs> good okay. too doesn't it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, free up and how yeah, it, um, it's so different up, than some uh, of the competitors you know we're a freelancer hiring platform and of course there's other platforms like Fiverr and Upwork um, we're different in the sense that we I definitely think we bring more of a human element to it um, our clients we talk to them. Um, we'll do phone conversations. We'll do Zoom calls. Um, we will hand match them with freelancers versus just them going into the freelancer uh, universe on their own and putting in job requests and getting matched with hundreds of people. Um, we do uh, we do that process for them. We'll help them from start to finish. And a big part of that process is um, pre vetting. And for a small business owner or somebody trying to scale, that's the biggest challenge. You know, you're trying to run day to day operations. You don't really have time to like vet the person that you want to bring into the business, um, you know, figuring out if they're going to be a good fit. So 
what we do at free up is um, we'll do one-on-one -on -one interviews with the freelancers before we match them with the clients. Um, we'll do some preliminary identity verification. Uh, we'll test them on just basic skills. Uh, they have to understand our free up terms of use and best practices. So all of that's done before the person who's looking to hire is ever matched with them. So again, like as a small business owner, that saves an invaluable amount of time just getting through that initial pre-vetting process. How do you ensure our, I guess the vetting process would do this, but I, you know, some of my experiences with the other platforms is I ask for a, I ask for a freelancer in, in, um, in the United States, or at least in mm -hmm. central time zone. And, you know, you get about 45 applications from, from <laughs> uh, Southeast Asia or from India. Yeah. Well, I, I won't lie. Um, you know, we have about 50% of our marketplace is made up of freelancers based in the Philippines, but what's, um, and they're incredible. Uh, we're so proud of our, our team, um, all, all of our freelancers, but especially in the Philippines. But with that being said, um, you know, a lot of people are more comfortable working with someone in their time zone. So, um, again, we have a hand matching process. So if you're looking for someone in central time zone, um, our ticket matching team will find you someone in central time zone. We, we have somebody who um, signed up recently. Um, he's a great, he's hilarious. He's based in uh, Dallas, Texas, very new to freelancing, but, um, or to working with freelancers, but um, it very interested in scaling up quickly. And um he figured out that if he's working with somebody who is in um, Southeast Asia, who's in the Philippines, uh, the project will start at $5 an hour versus somebody who's based in the U S for the same role. Uh, the project's going to start in at around 24 per hour. So um, the challenge though, is that he wanted somebody in his time zone, um, but he'd never worked with anyone internationally. So we just worked with him. We um, found uh, one of our freelancers based in Manila who keeps U S based hours because majority of her clients are there. And we set them up and they're doing great together. It's just sort of getting over that learning curve of, um, or that initial kind of fear of working with someone who is so far away. Um, once we kind of get over that and, and teach the clients who have never done it before, like, hey, it's actually really easy. A lot of the people over there do keep US hours because majority of their clients are over um, here in the US. Um, once we get over that hurdle, uh, they end up having a great working relationship. And most of our clients end up working with their freelancers um, in perpetuity. They're not really coming to us for like one-off projects. They want people that um, are in it for the long haul versus just, hey, do this and then we're done. We're going to part ways. Do you help coach clients on how to keep or how to manage the freelancer and maybe hold them accountable? I think one of the things is oh, that yeah. a lot of smaller businesses are growing and they maybe they, they, they don't have a good management team in place. How, how do you handle that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that again, I, I think there's such a distrust for a lot of um, these kind of platforms. People um, will come in and <clears throat> come in and put a job request in and they'll get 45 applicants. Um, they'll just hire somebody and they, they don't have any guidance or understanding of what to do next. They got a job request in with you know, a platform who matched them with a bunch of candidates and then they just clicked a hire button. Um, and unfortunately that happens, um, you know, for some people and, and then they don't want to work with freelancer hiring platforms anymore. But what we do is um, we'll offer them coaching and guidance from the start, whether that's them hopping on a call with an account manager and, you know, doing a Zoom call and helping put like a, a scope of work together, something that can help them um, monitor metrics or KPIs for the for the freelancer they hire, we'll do that for them. And then um, we have a great team of um, freelancers ourselves that actually work for us at FreeUp um, who continually will reach out to clients, making sure that they've got the support they need, making sure that the freelancers um, that we've paired them with, that they've hired are doing what they're supposed to be doing um, and just making sure the project's moving forward. So um, yeah, absolutely, we do coaching. I just attended a webinar that was about, you know, trying to recession proof your business. Do yeah. you see that, that at the moment people are reluctant to hire full time and looking more at free freelancing? Um, absolutely. I think that, um, like I said, people understand that um, it's going to save you money, especially if you're a small business, especially if even if you're not a small business and you're just trying to scale up. Um, when you're working with a freelancer, uh, you know, you're, you're getting exactly what you pay for. You set the role. This is what I need. 
um, this is how much I can offer and this is when I need it executed by. And people are starting to see that um, they can utilize freelance talent and get the work done that they need to get done without breaking the bank. And that's what's bringing more and more people over to the freelancer hiring platforms. Are you seeing a shift in in talent types with the AI revolution coming in? Is there is there freelancers now that are specializing in prompts and, and how to use tools Absolutely. like that? Yeah, that's so funny that you mentioned that. Um, we so we have a few um, we have a few additional brands besides FreeUp, uh, some of our supporting brands, and one of those is called iWriter, and uh, we. Free up, we manage that. It's iWriter powered by Free Up, and we have so many freelancers um, who are coming in who have um, experience with AI and AI uh, templates and writing prompts. We also um, a- another one of our businesses is Copymatic, which is it, sort of in vain of ChatGPT, similar AI writing platform. And um, we see many of our freelancers are getting trained up on that, and we are pairing um, our clients who are coming in looking for content writers, for example, um, we're finding them freelancers through iWriter because so many of our freelancers are just, they're learning. The industry is changing so rapidly. They know that AI is the future and and that's the direction that they're going in. Um, But what's cool about it is that because we're all under the same umbrella of, uh, it's actually NextNet Media is our parent company. So because we're all under that same umbrella, our companies like Copymatic and like iWriter um, we can offer these solutions and we have a plethora of freelancers who have been in this industry for a long time and know what our standards are, what our goals are, um, what our best practices are. They know all that. Now what they're doing is getting more experience with AI. So they're bringing that like free up, um, that free up essence to the other brands and and kind of growing in that direction. Talk a little bit about um, AI and, and free up and how... Mm-hmm. I think a lot of maybe merchants or end users are seeing AI as this magic bullet or magic wand yeah. that will power your marketing, but it is not always, and it should never be a just touch or like let it go, right? There's always got to be that human that's involved and in, yep. whether there's a prompt writer or whether there's somebody that's making sure the scheduling is happening in a right way, or even if you do a self-serve AI platform, that mm-hmm. content has to get somewhere somehow and Talk about how important yep. it is to have somebody to take over that. Um, it's hugely important. I mean, we are, um, SEO is is a very big part of our um, parent brand. And so we, we come at it with a unique perspective. When AI content started coming out, um, we, of course, you know, have, have clients that are seeing chat GPT for free and saying, oh, I can... I can do this and have a blog written in 30 seconds. Well, yeah, you can, but it's it's honestly terrible. You have to have the human element to it. Um, even if you're using a prompt that SEO optimizes a blog, SEO optimizes a blog, um, you still are going to need a human element there to edit it to make sure that um, headers are correct, to make sure that you know proper links are established. Um, so that, that's sort of the direction that we see a lot of, um, our freelancers trying to take. And that's what we're trying to help our clients understand is that, um, you, you can of course just push a button and and have a blog written, but it's not going to help in the way that you think it is. You're, you're basically, um, putting a a bandaid on a bullet wound. You really need somebody to come in there and, um, edit everything and and get it to where it's actually going to um, produce the results that you want it to. Yeah, it's, it is funny how nowadays you can really tell the content that's been written by an AI, especially if it's from yep. somebody that uh, you know is big and, and I'm one of those people. And if you don't, um, if you don't um, specifically make your prompts the way you're you're going to do it, you're going to get a whole bunch of words that you typically don't yep. use. And I suppose it's important to teach or to educate editors. And if you're going to hire a, a freelancer to understand the, the language model and your voice, right? Exactly. And it can, it's really, um, it's really about streamlining. And, and you mentioned earlier about coaching. Um, that's something that we can offer for the clients when they're coming in, you know, 
um, just getting, like I said, a scope of work down. So if you're hiring somebody to do uh, content for you or to AI written content, even um, a scope of work would be, you know, getting down, okay, this is my voice. This is my audience. These are the goals. Um, these are uh, popular uh, links. These are backlinks that we want. Just, you know, kind of getting all of that down on paper for the um, freelancer that's going to come in and, and manage the um, manage the job for you. That is huge. And just taking time and getting that down um, in the beginning, you know, taking a couple hours, it's going to save so much time for them down the line. So that's something that we really focus on when we're getting a new client um, that's coming in and, and going to be hiring no matter what it's for, but especially if they're going to be bringing somebody on to do content for them. You mentioned uh, other brands that, that are in your umbrella. Yeah. Tell us about how those all work together for, for benefit of the client. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so um, so NextNet Media, uh, that's our parent company. We've got the other brands I mentioned, iWriter and um, uh, Copymatic. Uh, also, The Hoth is someone that uh, is a company that many people are familiar with. But um, we really try to provide a holistic approach for any client, whether they're signing up directly for free up or they're signing up for um, iWriter or they're signing up for the Hoth. Um, for example, we might have um, somebody signing up for um, one of our supporting businesses, iWriter. And what happens with that is um, they can get content written for as little as one cent per word. And that is actually AI edited content. So they might come in with iWriter just to get some content up. Um, but then uh, in talking with us, they realize that they might also want somebody to help them with social media management. And when a client mentions something like that, um, of course, they could go somewhere else. They could go to Upwork. They could go to Fiverr. But again, to provide a holistic approach, we hear them. We hear their needs um, just from the content writer that they've hired. And we let them know, hey, we also have free up. We can help you provide, we can provide you with a solution for the um, social media management, or maybe they need a website build. We can do that as well. Basically, we can help them build out an entire team um, within the supporting businesses that we have. And I'm, I'm imagining the Hoff is a, is a reference to David Hasselhoff from Baywatch fame. Oh, no, I should have clarified. Uh, so not Hoff, it's actually Hoth, H-O-T-H. And um, it stands for hit them, hit them over the head. It's uh, it's really funny. If you ever, if you want to take a look at it, we've got a, a cute um, uh, logo monster. The Hoth monster is what we call it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what it stands for. Not, not David Hasselhoff. That would be great though. <laughs> yeah. Of course that was a joke. I apologize in advance. Yeah. Well, I apologize in post, post <laughs> advance of that. <laughs> um, so if you have some <laughs> advice to give maybe merchants or somebody going into Black Friday, going into post the end of the holiday season and, and post holidays, what would that be in terms of hiring and how you could utilize people? Yeah. Um, number one, uh, leverage freelance talent. I mean, the biggest thing that um, you can do now is just prepare housekeeping, um, getting getting things in line. Um, gosh, I just I just read a statistic actually about last year's e-com um, season, the busy season. It was the biggest season on record. And I want to say it was, uh, reported that like 28% of, um, client concerns went unanswered through live chat, uh, during black Friday, all the way to cyber Monday. And if that doesn't speak volumes about people not having the support that they need, especially during busy season, I don't know what what will. But the biggest thing I can say is to just prepare now. It's right around the corner, and um, just getting getting the talent that you need in. And we have we have different levels at Free Up too. We have entry level people who are really just following processes. But if you're coming down to the line, it's you know it's getting to be um, almost uh, Black Friday, almost you know holiday season, um, you can hire somebody on the mid-level or expert level who can come in and execute um, processes and even create processes for you if you don't have a ton of time to train somebody up. So just leverage freelance talent and start now. Now is we're in, we're getting down to the wire, so don't wait any longer. Yeah, and, and just this episode will come out during the, the that pre- Pre Black Friday Cyber Monday week, and we do we do a mm -hmm. uh, we always do a um, a blitz during that week. So there's a episode that comes out every yeah, day. So, so I, I so, don't know which day I mean, it is, but it'll be Black one of Friday those days. Black Friday and Cyber Monday. That's huge. But again, like the holiday season, like during Christmas season too, 
that's obviously very busy for e So there's still time. That's great. Uh, Brittany, as we round out the podcast, I give everybody a chance to do a shameless plug about anything you want. <laughs> what would you like to plug today? Yeah, so um, I definitely want to mention to everybody listening that um, if they head over to Free Up Pod, um, freeuppod.com, we've got some really great giveaways. Um, we have, as I mentioned earlier, the scope of work. We created a template for our clients um, and anybody just who wants to create a scope of work for their freelancers. We've got some other resources there, but uh, most importantly, um, for anybody who signs up to become a client with us, we've got $50 in credits uh, to get you started. So again, it's freeuppod.com. That's awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, I hope you have a prosperous holiday season. Yep. Thank you, Brent. Thanks. Talk Commerce is a production of Content Basis, LLC. For more creative content, go to contentbasis.io. 